You rolling? Yeah. You rolling? Where's Bruce? Where the fuck Bruce? He was supposed to be here 30 minutes, two hours ago. <laughs> His ass probably sleeping in the room the whole time. The whole time. Last time. Whole time. He out here. You good? All right, we back, man. Let's get it. Welcome back to the Running Back Podcast, the podcast where you come for the entertainment, stay for the sports. This is a podcast for the coaching, and I'm one of your hosts, Percy. I'm Bobby Bands. And in the room today, we got Double Out of Great. Yo. We got my man, Smoke. Yeah. The gas man, what's happening with you? And behind the camera, we got that man, Reef. The villain. <laughs> Other show. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that one. All right, Bobby, what's it's first? No, on relax. Day? This guy been on. He been wired all day. I swear to God. Yeah, we gotta. We gonna have to talk. Sit in the mic. Who? There's no mic over there. Oh, wow. we're good. Oh, yeah. We're good. yeah, we can hear. Yeah, um, all right. let's go straight let's into it. it then. I know everybody's seen that, this man. online. Uh, but my sh- oh shit. My. Hey, what Terrence Howard said, hey, kill that fan, that ain't what he meant, (laughs) (laughs) dude. Nah, um, I know everybody's seen this online. Uh, August Alcinas, or August Alcina. That ain't the first uh, topic. And Will Smith. Coming out the gate strong. Coming Coming out swinging. (laughs) Um, If if you guys don't know what's going on, so August Alcinas was in an interview with. What's her name? Angie. 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 Angelina. What? Angie. Angelina. 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 So she goes, were you involved in a relationship, you know, well... So he went, going, he went going down at the tail. She asked him a question. And he this nigga, you. did it, it took about 15 minutes to did, actually... Did he think Angela Yee was going to ask different questions? Nah. <laughs> yeah, he knew what the fuck was going <laughs> on. The show was called, like, Sex Talk. Or yeah, 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 that's true. But, um... So she, I guess she asked him whatever, and it took him literally, like, 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, he was just like, okay... Went on a spiel for like some random shit. Yeah. Niggas talking, just filling in. Fill, it was one of those. Words. He hasn't been online for a while. He said so he just talked his ass up. Like so he had to go into his. Oh, so you saying he, he went on the ramp? Yeah, he had um like uh. I couldn't call it. That shit where you can't do it. What this girl? Oh. Got? What this girl got? The red hair. Um. What's high school with us? I don't want to say her name. Right. Um, you dated her. I'm trying to figure out what it's called. I can't. Even it. I know. I know the girl. I'm yeah. trying to figure out. Yeah, look it up. So got it. Like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's like a liver disease. Oh, yeah. yeah, but anyway, so he said that Will Smith gave him the blessing to be with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. So do we pump the brakes right here, or do we do we give more detail? Uh, I don't know any more detail. I mean, you seen all the pictures. Right. <laughs> You seen all the pictures. Pump the brakes. You seen all the pictures. Right. Oh, yeah. And it's also been rumored that they were all they've been in oh, an open man. relationship oh, man. for as long as we've been knowing. So yeah. I want to throw out the quote that was it Jada? It was Jada at one of the round tables, right? She was uh-huh. talking about everybody saw it at this point. We we just gotta mention it too. But she said, uh if we're gonna be together, we're gonna be together. Even if we in this bitch and you over there with your joker and I'm over here with my joker, we in we in this bitch together still. Oh, okay. You know, I see, see that. No, I see something like that. Like you stuck. Like it's not that. It's the I seen it like this. I separate like this: a king and a queen, right? Right. You know, back in the day, medieval times, the king used to go fuck whoever he want, the peasants and all that. Right. But you don't think the queen used to go sneak off and fuck one of the little knights? She ain't have to go nowhere because while he was off dicking down, she had, was, she had. Uh, yeah, guard the black knight. She had the motherfucking <laughs> black knight over. Lamar Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, the black knight over. Yeah, so in the dark of night. <laughs> I think it's something that they understand. If, okay, and if you worth okay, if there were five hundred black knight, if you worth five hundred million, right, and it's cheaper to stay together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like. 
It's cheaper. way e- way cheaper to stay together. Cost efficient. Yeah, because you have a whole image that you've been upholding. Yeah, there's been rumors. There's been this so and that. Do you think the half the niggas in the movie you industry like like men? They do. Yeah. They say that. Yeah. That's word on the street. People say that that Will Smith is. This is word from Double R the Great, not uh, Bobby Vance. <laughs> what did you, what did he say? No, they say? But a lot of people are rumored that, that Will Smith, like they say Jamie Foxx, Will Smith, uh, amongst people in the industry that are um, associated with uh, Microphone not picking him up. Yeah, when you get rich enough, niggas just stop making shit up. Yeah, yeah. microphone really didn't pick him up, so for the people, they're saying that, uh, they saying that a lot of people in the industry like men. I think I can hear it. Just picking them up? Yeah. Now, good over there, technical difficulties. No, we just, back. Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> Start over from But anyway, uh, no, no. But I mean, that's been. The the, if, if there's like the show Hollywood on Netflix, the show Hollywood on Netflix shows that half the fucking industry is gay. A lot of these yeah. actors, what's your friend? Remember, he gay? He trying to be an actor, works at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Same name as well. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, like half them niggas be fucking either they're gay or they're not. You know what I mean? It's I mean that's whether you're gay or not. Right. That's real life anyway. Especially but. in <laughs> in these times now. But I feel you on that word. So you saying like the open relationship status, you do you not to say that you think that it's it's a that they marriage is flawed or whatever, but you think it's a business decision. I think it's all stay together good. and you do you, I'm gonna do me, but we you know where we at. Our our relationship status is a business. The Oprah leave. Stemming. Stemming. Come on, man. This facts. <laughs> no, I, he still lives in the back house, bro. Stemming, Stemming's coach house. <laughs> <laughs> the Oprah leave Stemming. No, nigga. Who the fuck is Stemming? See, you too young. <laughs> you too young. You too young. You no, can't I, go look it up. I, Heard of him, but have you ever seen that now? No one's ever seen. He him. looks like Arthur. <laughs> Arthur Reed. Start flaming, nigga. Yo. Yes. Hey, but a picture. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got millions of dollars, right? Yeah. I've been famous since like I was fucking seventeen. I got a Grammy, right? I get married pretty young. You know, we have kids. We're having a great life. I got millions of dollars. But I still got millions of dollars and access to all the women I want in the world. So I end up doing what most niggas do. You obviously know what that is. Now your wife finds out, y'all both married in that jam, she decides, well shit, we're not going to divorce, I'm gonna just do me. She okay, said straight up we not divorce. She was going on too. Of like, course. Really? I think that yeah, that been happened. That's probably happened that probably happened thirty several, years ago. Several relationships. <laughs> <30 years ago. laughs> that happened probably thirty years and ago. Now it's y'all together, but y'all kinda do y'all thing sometimes and they, you know, it's like, you know, I don't know. I see that a lot in marriages too. It's it's quick. A habit you can get a habit. How long is how fast thirty days. Thirty days to make a habit. Hey. Was it ninety? I think it's 30. I think it's 30, right? 30 days to create a habit. <laughs> it's been 30 years, nigga. That's a lifestyle. They open. That's, that's a lifestyle. It's a Facts. lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's an open, it's an open relationship. This message is brought to you by Lifestyle Comics. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Only because we love these niggas. But they're, 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 they're okay. They're, so the August I've seen is break the code of being a side on. nigga. Is he a side nigga though? Is he? If Will's blessed, he's not a side nigga. It is. What is this? What, what, like, how do you label it? But Will's her husband. You would never want somebody to fuck your wife? Will's her husband. This <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> terms over there. He's some terminology. You said what? That's yeah, a cuckoo. A cuckoo. <laughs> you you no, so that goes back to the king and the queen thing. Answer. That goes back to the king and the king, king and the queen thing I said earlier. You're not supposed to let a nigga fuck your queen. What if you? What if they enjoy if, that? What if you establish this in the I beginning? I mean, some niggas do that. Like, if you establish yeah, this course, in the yeah. beginning, huh? If you establish this in the beginning, like we, this how we get down. This how I get down. You gonna get down with me? This how we get down. And you agree to that shit. So you think August, Will, and Jada 
all slept together since we were like guys? Oh my god. Potentially. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Welcome back to Running Back. <laughs> Welcome home. Did you miss us? Running back. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Yeah, you're not supposed to let somebody. I mean, if, if it's an agreement, then yeah. If yeah, that's y'all thing, if y'all into it, you. Y'all and into the threesomes, you into the swing. They said they're not swingers, though. That's so that he has. So, so that means I got my joker, as she called it. You got, you your, got joker. your bitches, I got mine. But it seemed like it was, it was a relationship. It's a strange though. family, though, because this Jaden. Top to bottom, it's Jayden, strange. Jaden, oh you heard Jaden? That's not good. I'm not doing that. Right. <laughs> it's a strange family. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. They are, they are the modern family in terms of fucking. They're pretty progressive. They are very progressive. That's how yeah, we should. We shouldn't say strength. We should say progressive. Progressive, yeah. They are. They that, are. That's going to sound good on the IG clip. They're very progressive. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Take a second right now to go ahead and like this video, rate us on the podcast. Follow us wherever you are tuning in. I found out it's the, the new one that we own is is like Geo Seven or some shit like that. Geo Seven. Geo Seven. We foreign with it. You feel right me? When you're forehead, when you say that shit, you <laughs> said what? Link to click on. <laughs> Put that bitch right here. Geo Seven. All right, let's go straight into what Reef was so mad about earlier. Oh, I don't know if he was mad, happy, excited. Get this, hey. get this man a mic. Yeah, you need a fucking mic. I'm always my 50 girl. versus T.I. Who you got? I'm going to go just across the room. You got to pick somebody. Hey, remember when I did the, the versus? Y'all thought I was going to win? Hey. Yo. <laughs> my nigga. For our listeners, y'all heard the door close. That's Bruce in the building. Y'all don't hear him come in. Y'all ain't hear nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 50 versus T.I. Yeah. I'm going to just ask everybody around the room. Because remember, I, like, when I was doing the versus, everybody thought I was going to win. The one you supposed to win, you I, lost. I lost. And then upset the nigga twice. I'm not a DJ. I'm not a DJ. That's the same. Like, you can't sure. a listener. You can't I'm a, a song for me. <laughs> Hey, I said, I said, hold on, this was for my nigga Percy right here. I was picking songs on the live, remember? <laughs> but I was, I was intoxicated though as well. Right. True. That's different. Oh, so that means you meant it. I feel right, that's yeah. love, B. It was real emotion. You feel me? But um, song. so, all right, who you got? Fifty. Go that way. I don't know, nigga. You've been confusing. Fifty, New York, AKA. Yeah, because you said you was you was little tip or something in eighth grade or something. <laughs> you like see me? <laughs> <laughs> I was little tip in all six. If you call me Rob, then you don't know yeah. me. <laughs> you got Ti? No, I got fifty. You got fifty? Yeah, I think I, I got fifty too. Was there really an argument? It's not an argument, it's, but it's the just... argument is, is it a wash? No, we love, we Absolutely love T.I. not. T.I. is great. Okay, man. let me ask. Is, is T.I. the king of Atlanta? No. <laughs> he claimed king of the south. No. King, king of the south. Is he king of the south? Not anymore. Tip arguing that he ain't done. Right? Y'all saw his argument? Like, if you want, if you want 03 sound, I got it. You want Sorry. you want twenty ten? No, I got it. We don't. We no, don't, we but don't. when you when you pulling out your catalog, you do. You 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 pulling out. Yeah. You pulling out oh five fifty. You saying timeless saying right can't this. nobody touch oh five fifty. You want timeless. But, a lot of shit be dated. Of course, of course. Yeah, his music is dated. When I hear his shit, it's not like I'm just like oh. You're in you're in the mood for that sound, and he knows that. That's why he's saying if you're in the mood for it, I got it. What you in the mood for? I like T.I., man. He's great. You know, he's great. I don't think he's... This he's he's never been the king of the South to me. Uh, he's but cool. it's one of those... He's cool. The king is one of those king. monikers. It's one of those monikers that he gave himself, though. Yeah. And motherfuckers yeah, like, okay. Puerto Rican rapper. Okay. I, I'll like take people, it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Like, it's I just... Yeah. That shit. Fuck you Enigma. <laughs> Enigma. The king Enigma now, he's saying. The villain. You know what I'm saying? Now we got the villain here. Villain's everywhere. Y'all ain't uh They call me King P. I wear my waves 360 like a fucking hey, I'm going hey, no, no, hey. <laughs> hey, rest in peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No all jokes aside. Rest in peace to my waves. 
Yeah, you see I've, this hat, nigga? I've got three. Yeah, hey, you didn't you have waves? Listen, 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 don't worry about me, bro. Hey, hold on, because I want them to see the waves. I want them to see the waves. There is no waves. This is a great shot. Corona killed my waves. I got asked three times by kids. Remember I told you the kids was gassing yeah. me up. Yo, yo, damn, you got waves. Damn, you got waves. Damn, you got waves. Now my shit was... Still water. So your shit. Slow <laughs> current. What? That shit is still <laughs> water. Your shit an hour after they made the wish. <laughs> this <laughs> image. Oh. With the glasses when you take the bitches off. And Cyclops. The, uh, that's not that's Cyclops. 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 Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. There you go, right there. Oh, he's talking about. He's <laughs> 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 talking about the headphones. That's Can funny. I get myself some fucking things in post? Funny as hell. So then, who did more for this city? T.I.? Oh, my God. They ain't going to win in the battle. No, I'm asking you a different question now. I'm it's the whole thing, because it's a thing. Who did, like... 50, I don't think 50 ain't did... The only thing 50 did was okay. create a fucking um, power the for the city. <laughs> That's all he did. Who did more for hip-hop? Let's start there. Let's start okay, with hip-hop for first. more for hip-hop. Well, no, the city's... The, for their city, who did more for their city first? And then we'll open it up to hip-hop. Are you talking about, like, yeah. community? We're not, so we don't know no, about that. We're talking about rappers. Of, even, if, even if they, like, influence the next nigga from their city or... Or put motherfuckers on in their city. That's what I'm saying. You gotta put this. Like, but I feel like I feel like Ti's influence lasted a hell of a lot longer than. Well, that's because he was relevant for longer. Musically, Musically, he was relevant for longer. Yeah, because like it's 25 years later, Pop Smoke just was the spitting image of 50. So that what does that have to? What does yeah? What does, just say, am I the only I'm person in the room that think he don't mean? sound like fifty? He doesn't sound like fifty. Yeah, I, he, he, his he, influence he, hasn't spanned that long. It's he's 20, from New York though, so that 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 is the influence that we're saying. What he do for his city? He's from. He's the influence. How else do you want him to? The influence. The influence. The influence. Like Tip. Tip has and still has is like still like even even fucking signing trash ass Iggy Azalea. He kept B.O.B. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? Oh. You know, doing power. That's what I'm it's saying. No, no, but, but, no, but he started power, I was saying, before power, he was irrelevant in the rap game. He did the vitamin water. He didn't drop no music. After the, after, 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 Okay. Level, okay, okay, so what's that have to do with hip hop? We're asking for hip hop. He stopped becoming a hip hop artist. For years, he became a businessman. He, he became a bi- he, he became a businessman. He dropped the classic album. That's what he did. What did he drop? Which one? Get Rich or Die Trying. The classic album. No, he dropped the yeah. Well, what a movie? Movie with the soundtrack? <laughs> you walked off. <laughs> the the soundtrack to that song was the other album though, wasn't it? It wasn't even. Cause Get Rich or Die Trying was the first album, right? When did Get Rich or Die Trying come out? Yeah, y'all arguing separate points. Yeah, because he's saying that what he his influence was the classic album. Just like you asking, what has he done since, since then? What has he done lately? Yeah, because since two thousand was two, since two thousand and what six, ten? I say eight, probably fifty. Did nothing until Power came. Do we remember why fifty didn't do nothing? He signed that million dollar, multi million dollar deal with Vitamin Water. He tried to fuck with that nigga from Chicago. No, nigga, he who? Got he tried to fuck with who? He tried to fuck with who? Talking about? Kanye, 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 Kanye. Oh, Kanye, Kanye's the reason why. Oh, Kanye. 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 You said, what have they done more for their city? He dropped a classic album for his city. That's what inspired the nigga to do twenty five years later. That's what he did. That's what he did. He taught. If Get Richard died trying not a classic album. And Ti dropped. And Ti dropped. And T.I. had been dropping since 2005, nonstop. What does that mean? He has a just as big, influence. just as I can drop big influence. Songs if they're all ass. And, and I've been telling you I'm the king of Atlanta I'm for the last 15 that. years. I'm going to break it down to you in a battle rap perspective real quick. DNA, DNA and Sue <laughs> Surf. DNA and Sue Surf are on two different levels. DNA is a really, really great battle rapper. He has about 120 battles under his belt. Surf has about 11. Their caliber is about this big of a difference still. Just because you got a big, long-ass catalog don't mean you're that fire. Quality, quantity, quality control. Quality control. If you drop a classic what? album... So, what? How many, how many albums do Kendrick have? 
Sure, two? It's three, ain't three? it? How many does Tip have? I don't fucking know. Exactly. That's like why I'm wondering, though. But they're holding people to different... I think it's four or five. You get held to a different calendar off of what you drop. If you come off the gate... But we're not comparing... We're not calling either of them niggas, like, the best rapper, even of their time. Yeah. 50 was probably the best, the hottest thing smoking at that time. Who was better than 50 out when he was out? In terms of rapping, in terms of rapping, I'm saying because Kendrick, Kendrick was the only rapping. answer I give you, Eminem. Dang, I was literally about to say you probably have M at that moment. But was niggas calling Fifty the best well, rapper? They are. They, 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 they never. They've never called Fifty the hottest, best rapper, hottest rapper, none of that. He was the hottest thing out. Nigga, one hundred and six in part. Nigga, that's the difference though. Straight. Anything he touched was hot. It's There's a, a difference song. between that and Eminem can miss and still kill his verse. Like his song can be trash, and niggas will will not doubt the fact that he can rap. If you said fifty wasn't spitting, spitting, I'm not saying he wasn't spitting, spitting. Get Richard die trying. I'm not. No, he can rap. I'm not saying like he, he wasn't spitting, spitting. Bro, how to rap? He literally. Described how he's gonna rob a hundred rappers. This was for all this cloud <laughs> <and> <laughs> shit. He described how he's gonna rob a hundred rappers at the time, bro. This is 1999, bro. This 20 some years ago. Niggas is still doing this type of shit. I mean, niggas always gonna rob. Man. <laughs> no, rapping about it though, like making stories up and they rap and like making that shit intelligible. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this is. Uh, yeah, you could, you can't he, you can't attribute that to the man though. Like that's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you're discrediting his rap skill and you're discrediting his impact. I'm not. I'm no, not. we're not. You, you're discrediting. You his, you're discrediting. You're, discredi- you're, you're discrediting Ti. That's what. We're, I didn't see that. You just said his six albums don't compare to to no, to the one class. Fifties two. Quality and quantity. I say, and that's why I brought up Kendrick. You got quality. In the four albums, right? The people that you looking for that shit, they see quality in this shit. And that's you, a separate argument for Ken. If you feel that way about his music, but yeah. they have him revered, and he's only at what four or three albums, right? So I'm saying, so you don't need Kendrick, to have twenty years worth of a career. Kendrick and Fifty. You know? There's a difference between Kendrick and Fifty because Kendrick is looked at as as potentially the best rapper of his generation. Fifty is the best artist of his. When Whatever. 50 was out, if he touched it, it was gold. Nobody nobody will save Kendrick. Huh? I fuck with Kendrick, and we throw that out there. Say Kendrick's not the best rapper. Like, bars, niggas are niggas arguing like, that. Rapper, rapper. No, People have. Niggas, artist, niggas are arguing that. Artist, niggas are arguing that. Because everything he does around that and the poetry that he's literally doing his album. Niggas are saying Cole, Kendrick, Nobody's saying and yeah, kill, the best niggas rap. are saying Cole yeah. and Kendrick, rapper. rapper. Yeah, nigga. rapper. Cole yes. and Kendrick are, that is the argument. That. Nobody's saying that. Yeah. Saying that lyrically, lyrically, that. lyrically, lyrically as a rapper. Him that as a, as rapper. a lyrical rapper. As a lyrical rapper. You know, on Google, you, talk, you type in, like, Fiji said his songs, and T.I. his songs, they literally have the same amount just about. It's just different times. That's, that's, a, different, so. that's a different argument. <laughs> it is. No, not, yeah. That's the basis of the yeah, argument. But this my thing. How many of them songs are fifty? Are just fifty, and how many of them see I have a major feature next to them? Bro, I, I mean, I'm but the sure. argument, like, is their song? The argument okay, is. But look at this. Look, I have to pull onto the track to get that. I'm on. on so. Let's compare. Okay. Then okay. So, so, I, so I, if I have a raw ass song, compared to just because I hear like, a dope ass artist, regardless of. I, I needed that artist to make my song okay, dope. but that's like, why, yeah. why you ain't drop it by yourself? Why you ain't feel like it was gonna get by that by yourself? Why you because need of, to go in? Because, because of feature, it, it takes a song to a whole nother level. That's right? what I'm saying. You and need it, to go get them to <laughs> elevate your shit. 50 no, is such a right. bright star, bro. I don't think you understand. It's not he about, it's it's not about he's needing guy. somebody for that song. It's about a mutual respect for someone. Like if me and you do a song. What if I don't need, what if I don't need that? Some people don't. But Some people don't need features. That's the star. But the song the is the song, star, though. The star, but that's the, the guy. But the song is the song. Well, yeah, Whether like 50 don't have... Now, 50, 50's on every feature. It's like... Nigga, features is, oh, is, is holding his career alive. His rap career is getting floated by features. He's, he's not worried about a rap career right now. It's like and T.I. ain't either. If we had T.I., just live your life, hey, 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 it wouldn't be as good. But Rihanna just live... 
it was, that it shit was, was so better. Bad. It was also it was that so time bad. too where so hip hop and R and B was <laughs> one and the same. Yeah. <laughs> hip hop and R and B was R and B singers were pissed off about that time where Tiff had all them features because R and B and hip hop was one and the same. And I look where rappers at where where it's one. These rappers are our the rappers are singing their own hooks now. Yeah. Their own hooks and their own. He did the same shit. He did not introduce that. Oh, we're not saying he didn't. We're talking about the time period. It was melodizing before the that. The time period, nigga. He sang piggy bank to a motherfucker. We know that. Okay, like, put some respect <laughs> on his name on the pod. Nobody's not. Let's talk New York ass, nigga. All right, let's talk. All right, right, right we're going to talk Pop Smoke album that 50 uh, produced. Right. I fuck with it. It got some good vibes. I fuck with it. Right. Like, Reed, calm down. Look, he's in the seat. Relax. Okay. Relax. <laughs> okay. No, it was good. I fucked with it. We should ask what did what 50 do for the city? Reef putting on for the city right now. You feel me? Shout out Brooklyn. Shout out, Brooklyn. Shout out my family in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> we got some family in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, I fucked, with it. Album, yeah. I fucked with it, though. It, if you listen through it all the way through, he gives you like oh that old like two thousand vibe right. that Fifty had and a lot of these guys that he recreated in his own version, which was still hot. A lot of it was uh, how many songs was Fifty samples? Like now, three. I was, I was about to say something, right? So uh, like okay, <laughs> I, I, I fuck I fuck with it. I fuck with the album. I fuck with uh, when niggas do the sample shit, which I don't feel like that's getting started. Like, you know, it's like, getting over. It's yes. overdone. It's continuing there, to be like the kind of the standard now. You think that's gonna be the thing? I. I, I I I was gonna say this too. It's, it's happening in movies as well. People are re they're running out of ideas and they're just recreating. But it's really been around for the longest because niggas was. I mean, niggas been doing it since nineteen twenties, the forties, the fifties. Even it's always in, something that it's in hip hop. Like niggas, right. yeah. You take a disco track, throw some drums on that bitch, and loop the fucking hook. And you got the hottest beat of, of 1987. That's what we're old. We can recognize the sample. That's what it is. We didn't recognize the sample on fucking uh, the, the, on the games the, album or the on, Ice Cube song. It's a good day. Today right. is gonna be a right. good day. No one, everybody, or yeah, or even Juicy Juicy Fruit. We didn't Nobody recognize knew the that was a Juicy, a juicy right. Fruit song or that you know. Original. Then you turn on 102.7 and you. you and I'm like, thinking this. Like, what big coming in at? And then it's... Oh, it's, no, it's the legend the whole time. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's always been, but it's just, we're older. We, I, right, we, so we we can recognize, like, hold on, I know this beat. Oh, this nigga sampled this from, from XYZ song. Uh-huh. Then you go back, that nigga sampled it from Old Girl, and she sampled it from a blues singer 85 years ago. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people are just touching on top of top, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the For the Night with the uh, little baby and the baby. The songs? That song's track. I mean, that song's hot. Uh, yeah. The Woo with 50 and Roddy. You like that song? Well, I fuck with Roddy on that song. I fuck with Roddy. Hey, 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 hey. Respect. He was straight. Go some respect. He was straight. He was straight. You were mad that he was there. Uh, my, one of my top songs, though, remember I was saying Mood Swings with Lil TJ. When he was when when Pop was like, oh y'all don't think I could sing or something like that, he's singing on that bitch. Funny as hell. I've been, I've been running around the house singing See, all week. Like, hey, Adrian, be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Pull out this got it on me. I don't really fuck with the got it on me. You fuck with it? The Many Man remix. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. No, you know why? I, I, you know why I don't I, because I was literally working on a song just like that. Yeah. And where I literally, but I took my own twist on it. You know what I'm saying? I took that part and I was like, Many Man. And uh, whatever, I, mean, I, I did my whole thing on it, and then to hear that, I was like, "Fuck!" Well, but as an artist, let me know personally, I'm on the right track. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what yeah. Like, what y'all feel I, about recycled bars? I don't mind. I don't mind, bro. Like, I, you, uh, you look at it as is, homage, it's or really, it's yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is it really? Because if if you look at the influence, because Drake did it in the one song where he hit the like 17 songs. The, yeah, he um, did. <laughs> I know that, but I'm saying like when he really. Pull the wind bars and hit the, the exact cadence and uh-huh. the, right. looking like a man being drawn on my shirt. Yeah. Like, right now, he like, just did the Eminem one. Yeah, he yeah, did the Eminem one. Uh-huh. He did Juvie. He's yeah. done, he done a couple. Like, I fuck with him. I, 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 I look at it as homage. Yeah, that's yeah. Like it's homage. Because yeah. he did come up in the time. He's not too far off of us. 
was engaged. Like it's gotta be tasteful though. That's why. Yeah, it does. It does. He did it in a way like if you didn't even know that Eminem song, you probably still vibed and stuff. Uh-huh. But Fact. if you knew it, it was like wait, oh, like. Yeah. He literally has you right. like finishing M's verse and then he switches on you. Exactly. Like the first time you hear you like oh yeah, then you start saying M shit and then he says some other word. I I, I don't got that one on, on cue like I had the vocal quote. <laughs> uh, no, but the got it on me, I just felt like it was like too sampled, like too you know when you get like that like cliche of a song. It makes you like Tori. It makes you want to listen to the original. It makes you want to listen to the original. Yeah, I rather. So when you're comparing a remake to a classic, like, would you want to listen to the remake or do you want to listen to the classic? Right. If I'm making a song, I want you to like, feel those like, vibes. Like Little Wayne when he does the remixes. The uh, big bo- the, uh right. It, it's the uh, when you listen to those songs, you rap Little Wayne's verses. That's because he made better. So if I'm gonna remake a song, I'm gonna make a better version. I'm just not gonna throw it on there. Just and, I, the and maybe it was just because Fifty was in the room. Okay, yeah, uh, that's just you know you don't want to do too much on the original off. song. I don't really want to compare. It. I feel like it was a decent because it's just not the same. Oh, Migos just had a Fifty Cent first song. Yeah, one Migos on there some, on the some, album. Yeah, Migos was on. Uh, oh, Quavo was on. Aim for the Moon. Yeah. I think he's back to back. Uh, I think he might have been back to, or he, he might even have had Carol G. That's one thing I'll say. I think he was on some. He was trying to be an international. Take it. Remember, I was what I just say the other day. That's there's what I what I know. I told you. Remember, I told you all these people from the labels are signing these. Remember, I said at your your table, the labels are signing these guys. They are multicultural. They're fucking. Uh, Jamaican, Haitian, Panamanian, whatever the fuck, but they're Americanized, so they have that mix of I can still make a song Panamanian style because with a touch of American, and it can vibe for everybody. The <laughs> and that's what the labels are aiming for. Look at a boogie. Hey, look at all these New York boogie niggas. Is a clown noir for that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Nori, Nori, yeah, Nori, yeah. but Nori like mixed, ain't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but but you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's like an extra weird. flavor of, of culture that you get. Like they're saturated because it's they like are. being churned out by the label. So you got motherfuckers that are not really influenced by that making music from that. Just, like, for instance, so some AI nigga. Yeah. Do, do you heard the song Spanglish? Oh, yeah. you know, I mean, you said it's my about, yeah, yeah. Hey, you're too young to yeah. know that song. Somebody wrote that song. I don't think somebody like, wrote. No, I don't think somebody wrote that, that song. Was too hot. In the that, that's like, that, yeah. Like, that song's a classic. That, that's they classic. still play it, and, and when you go to New York, they play that's that. Yeah, it's a classic. Oh, classic. Do song or the. I was and Shorty can it. actually oh. rap. So I know you can rap, but I feel like that's. Oh, a lot I feel like that. he got some empty bars, bro. No, of course, yeah, yeah, no, he does have some real, some real, some real, left left real. hook ass left field ass shit, but he can rap. There's no doubt about it. He can rap. Before he he changed this style. These last two, what, no, yeah. That's why hey, you can see Lit really a fan of him. Right. Who? No, <laughs> nigga is actually watching the. You know, I'm, I'm, that's a progression. A twin, that's a progression. A twin. A twin. A twin. He looked like Matro. Well, with his hair. <laughs> Shout out, <laughs> out Metro. But yeah, he was he he was actually on the show with Jermaine Dupree and all those guys. Oh yeah, he did that one. Yeah, with Ti. Oh he yeah, was, yeah, he did. Bro, he, he did. was rapping freestyling. That's all he knew. And then he became learned how to was make. He the one that songs. couldn't make a song. He couldn't make a song. They, they, they had him like they had a freestyle portion. Like, oh shit! And then they had like make a song and. But Shorty went crazy. The girl. He just started. He did what everyone else did. He started talking about love. He was on that show. He was on that show. Oh my god! Bro. I got to rewatch this. Everybody shit. on that show was damn near playing. I can't even lie. I feel the same way. Let's say one. You know, D Nice is Sir's brother, bro. That's like. Uh, we won't talk about that show. We're talking about the one. You talking about the Shorties, right? The Shorties. The Jermaine Shorties. Dupree show. Shorties. The Shorties. What show? It was with Jermaine Dupri, Ti, the rap, the, the back. No, it was a couple years ago. The rap one. He had was own, shorty, so it was like a, Atlanta, it was like a uh, he had like his own Atlanta show where it was oh, kids, yeah. kids rapping yeah. and singing. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga's like eleven to fourteen. It was on like UTV type yeah. shit. Right? Yeah, he didn't really make it. It hit Netflix uh, a couple months ago before. But he was on that show. But all he did was what everyone else, what Juice World did, when we, all these start talking about their emotions and female, and it worked for. Them. Niggas get into their feelings and. 
people want to listen to what they correlate to. So if everybody on the emo wave, they gon' they gonna fuck with it. Uh huh. You just gotta find what people can relate to you the most. As an artist, really. As an artist, that's in everything. Like if motherfuckers come to us and tell us like we don't like when y'all talk about, or if we do a video and it's pop off and we did something that we normally don't do, mm-hmm. we're gonna run that bitch back. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then it pop off again. Like this is what people want to see from us. So in the music, you do the same shit in the music. The music, they they fucking with it heavy, and you just doing like a, a sample project. I'll I'll say this. Run it back. I'll say this. Well, you're an artist. Reef, what, what do you think about this? Say you drop a hit song, right? Like a single. Say you drop a... Huh? He's like, of course. <laughs> no, but say you drop a single so and it goes know. crazy, right? <laughs> it goes crazy. Are you following and doubling back with that same kind of cadence and style? Remember I asked you guys. I said, tear it up. Tear it up, right? It's right. a club song, boom, 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 whatever. Are we gonna follow back up with another club song, same cadence, same uh, I, as an artist? What do you think? Because a lot of the, I think a lot of artists ride that wave way too long. I think it's whatever you make, bro. Like, I think they maybe, ride it way too long. I, I think if you start trying to, if you catch a hit and then start trying to cater to the hit, you're probably uh, not. Gonna yeah, you gonna miss. You gonna miss. You gonna miss. For That's sure. half our West niggas. Just keep on you. <laughs> right. Oh, you had a feeling. So, you know, exactly. It was something about you. It, it, it yeah, wasn't yeah. necessarily that track. Exactly. It was something yeah. about you. And if it's, you know, but some people, yeah, some people just be. They can't get away from A lot of it's more than stuff just popping. Like, stuff pops and that shit changes. Like, you know. Quick facts. Leverage, money, type of, it's all types of shit. So, some niggas use that, that, that pop and take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like, they actually. Or they sign up with a record right. and the record labels. Like, we want you to make this same kind of sound. And right. I'm sure that happens as well. I'm sure that happens more than, than people yeah. realize. There's a lot of variables, too. You never know. Like, you can make a hot ass hit and somebody can feel offended by it. Just try to say, oh, yeah, we love what you did here, but this is what we see for you. Yeah. Yeah, put some labels in like that. So you know your fingernails are painted. Your hair is dyed. This dude, oh, uh, Rich Gang. What's what? This nigga was hot. What's his name? <laughs> Rich Homie Quan. Rich Homie Quan, bro. He started riding that motherfucking Young Thug wave. Canceled himself. Nah, Rich Gang was hard though. Rich Gang, Rich nigga, Gang. that shit was she hard. Well, I don't she know get, how they every time I hear Rich Gang, she fucked up when she gave me some pussy. That just it, that's well, I don't think I put it on my Facebook status like <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Yeah. Say I fucked the better than them other niggas. Uh, That's what we just talking about though, right? Wayne, take your B and you rap his shit. But he remember, if you if you really like know old Wayne songs, he'll take his own bar and make it a hook. Make a whole make it a whole song out of like a two bar. Out of two of his yeah. bars. We got we all got Wayne very high. I mean, I think I mean a nigga on the wall, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's that shit. Really? That's that shit. I heard, you know, some, some, some rumbling. I won't mention on the podcast. I respect. No, let's talk about it. Yeah, some things need to be said around here. You know, yeah. we don't hold no punches. Well, you know, some people like love or, or hate. The, the opposers will say, you know, go back and listen now. A lot of it's dated. Two, it was a lot of volume. People say like. Talk to somebody who don't really like wants to argue with you. Oh, so you're saying like, oh, he dropped a lot of he, stuff. So and, we uh, just and, and a lot of stuff is kind of in that like a weird kind of tone. Even though niggas is doing that now, but it was like the early. His influence is tone. ridiculous. Yeah. Wait. So what? What? What, got, what are you going with though? I'm, I'm confused. You, no, I, I said he's a. I'm not even mentioning that. Yeah. Uh, skip over that. Oh, that's I'm what I'm wondering. I'm trying to wait for that. I'm in a tier in with that's like fifties tier for me, like. He's, he's, it's like different. 50s tier? Legend mm-hmm. tier. Bro. You heard this Legend, nigga? Legend, you got Wayne on 50, 50. 50 tier? You got Wayne and 50 in the same tier. I do. That's He's a New York nigga, so you gotta I, give that, him. That's what I'm about to say. That's a New York You gotta give him that. That's a New York too, though. My, Where we gonna have him? My, my, like, if my mom, if I was to put yeah. together my mom, like. You're top three right now, right? You're top three. Four, top like four. My mom rushed for There's a spot missing because I haven't solidified one yet. Minus 50 Wayne and M. That's literally who I grew up on. There's That's no way I'm putting 50 Cent in my fucking mom Rushmore crap. Yeah. What? No. That's who I grew up on. No, of course. We of grew course, up on 50. Of course. We all love Get Richard Die Trying. We I all had our G unit something. We all wanted to to wear our bulletproof vest. He's not a great 
Mixon? Yes. He is. But he's not top five. He's not top four. Lil Wayne is top five. So, what, what you two, a lot of you two people, how they rank shit, they have S tier, oh A, B, C, D, right? right? That's fucking snorting cocaine. I'm behind the scenes of the podcast. I told you, this nigga do it. He snorting good. I got 50 in it. S with Wayne in them. S, so a lot of people, the way they rank shit on the internet is S tier, <laughs> A, B, C, D, right? There's tiers. Wayne is in my S tier. 50 is in A. You don't have to make another category. 50 in S tier. A lot of their asses is in S plus plus. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So then. A, a tier above that tier. So then that's so top 10. Know. That's top 10. That's like a top 10. Okay, S tier is 10 and up. Where y'all have hope? Hope? Mm. I got Hove definitely top two, one two. Yeah, I got I got Hove up there. Um, I start to respect them as I get older. It, it, I start to respect. It took a minute for me to get onto Hove though. Same with Kobe. It took a minute for me to get onto Kobe too. Oh my god, yeah, we had, I had this conversation with somebody else before. My, maybe because my parents came from Africa, so they grabbed onto the bigger names. You feel me, like Kobe, Shaq, Iverson. You know, yeah. so that was like my introduction. Uh, but I'm like. When I got when I got here and I realized niggas didn't like Kobe, maybe because he <laughs> yeah yeah all the bullshit style, that, yeah. you feel me like he played like Michael Jordan, uh -huh. you know, way above. I'm like it wasn't even what? that for me. This nigga is just, like he's oh, yeah. a walking like bucket. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Like have you seen this man play? <laughs> yeah. Stupid bro, stupid. Like, but you also had LeBron. That was coming through the scene. Yeah, by the time and, and the and the Spurs. Yeah. By the time we really were able to form a basketball opinion, Kobe, yeah, LeBron was yeah, in the league. Five by that time, boy, what? He had three. He had three. <laughs> he, had yeah. he had three. He had three. He had two on his own. Do the same. That's when. Time. That's when I gave him that. Okay, right. this nigga. This back nigga. in high school, when we actually like formulating solid opinions. His fifth one was in ten. What? Yeah. And just like, yeah, this nigga is real. Bonnie used to tell me all the time, shout out my nigga Bonnie. He used to be like, bro, Kobe, Kobe's the fucking best basketball player. I'm like, hell no. Then I came back from watching the game. I think this nigga dropped like 40, 50, bro. <laughs> we go to Ector Park. I tell Bonnie, nigga, you was right. <laughs> this nigga, the truth, my nigga, he was it's going crazy. It's crazy, though, because now like a 50-point game don't even solidify Trae you. Trey Young dropped 50. Like a 50... These, these guys are so skilled. It's like, niggas fill that motherfucker up. And I I don't know if it's motherfuckers playing less defense, too. See, even in basketball, we talk about 50, man. Come on. He said, he said what? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Are we going into sports right now? I mean, oh, we're not. We're not. You said what? Okay, that's James Harden and and, and this Harden, nigga. We're not going to talk about the disrespect on James Harden. No, there ain't no disrespect on James Harden. Okay, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> James Harden does get disrespected. This nigga's worked up over I'm telling you, he can't stay still, boy. He's out. He was ready yesterday. He was ready yesterday. <laughs> I'm here. Um, hey. Kanye for president? What's up? Uh, 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 oh! Remember when he did the, uh, was Otis, was that Otis? They did Otis with, 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 with Jay-Z. They were all in uh, American stuff, right? Were they? I don't remember the Otis, you remember the Otis? The Otis video. Yeah. They were all in American shit, right? Uh, let's just say Kanye got a bag coming, you know, so he needs some promos. Quick promo. I'm for president. He probably got nigga, a million. He said it four years ago, though. He said, yeah, he said yeah, it. Well, right? I mean, this is, he said it on stage. I mean, he said it on stage. He, he said it in an interview. Serious? He is serious. He's dead ass serious. He's dead ass, nigga. Hey, Donald Trump, he, he was going to run. And, and niggas laughed at him, too. Hey, if he wins, then I I had a, my nigga Kanye. Bro. Can I, can I tell y'all my weird take <laughs> yeah. on Trump? You better do something good. You better do something good. So I, and. But this, is, this could be bullshit. This nigga's sitting there fucking. I don't know what the fuck he had, but if Kanye wins presidency, man. We're going to Canada. No, you're not. It's going to be way more lit than Donald Trump. Lit. Are you saying that? <laughs> right. nah, this nigga's retarded, boy. Oh, Get the fuck out of here. Nah, come on. We're not going to say this. The Kanye that said George Bush doesn't like black people. Gotta be in there somewhere. 
He, he gotta be still in there somewhere. Man. He just became a billionaire. You don't think this nigga's head is like somewhere up here? But that's where he just. Some he, it's like he shit. waited. And he still got a uh, SBA loan. Come on, he <laughs> is scamming. He got a good Jesus. plug. Hey, that shout out the plug. I swear. Hey, didn't he say? We gotta remember though. Don't for one second. Great work for inmates. You know, it's a freedom. Okay, so I I, 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 I see this. Black kids. Hold on, I seen this. Look at I seen this on, <laughs> online. They said, okay, Kanye ran with Trump, right? Said this, uh, make America great again, blah blah blah. Now, just to get into the White House, because his wife could free people, blah blah blah. They said that this was the alley for his. No, no, this is the huh? It's, it's, a it's logical. It's a logical. So far, everything. And now he's logical. denouncing Trump. So what they're saying is, do you think he used Trump to get that kind of political platform? Not a political platform, but just get that leverage, leverage there. Possible. And now say fuck Trump. I mean, what's the most famous name in the world probably right now? Trump. Trump. Yeah. So he put himself. You know, when you're, now you're saying Kanye. Well, That's what I'm saying. So, and and he said this four years ago. And he said whatever the fuck he whatever said ten years ago that I made a post about. This is not he's this is planned moves. These are shit. planned moves. I've seen some shit that talked about yes. It's just too soon look, before the election. Look at his Why would look at he knows he's not gonna win. He can't he can't he can't get votes in six states. So why are you doing this? What for what reason? This is leverage for something else. His album. Right? Four years. Probably. His album. Yeah. But he's re- he's released the album within the last four years, though, ain't he? He, he released. I don't when did Life of Pablo come out? That was called an album? No, you're talking about. No, no, I'm talking about Life of Pablo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I'm talking about Life of Pablo was also within this four years, wasn't one. it? It was like 2017, 15, 15. So, so it might have been like right after, I mean, right before, but. The man, I think it, it it might be a political play because he, they somebody documented all of his donations and his moves and shit, and they put it like so while he was saying, I want to I want to get next to Trump X Y Z because we got to understand the other side type shit yeah. or I really just fuck with him he kind of cool he was saying both but then they looked they tracked his moves and he was fucking with the culture basically the whole time everything he backed was for. The people we would expect him to back. So yeah. financially, he been he been make the actions speak louder than words to me. So, but it don't for everybody. So he him wearing the hat and him doing all his other shit is all still, the what what a, <laughs> he call him really. <laughs> you doing what that. now? <laughs> I hate that word. Facts, Reef. Say it again. Say it again. What was he doing? I, I'm, I don't know. He said he was cool. There's, there's some money. It's a money play. Oh, Definitely a money play. Like, that it's, shit, all that shit is kind of, it, it sounds great. It's all lovely, but everybody's making money in this bullshit. I'm not voting for him. He can never be my president. I mean, I, I will not say he will never be my president. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't vote for Kanye. I don't think, I, and at this point, we already see we had kind of celebrity. a celebrity as a politician, and look at where hey, that went. Look at what, look at what happened to WCW. On um, WCW, WCW, yeah. WCW. <laughs> not well, of the wrestling company. They they got this nigga in there that was kind of trash at his job, and then their championship belt was one of the had like the best lineage mm-hmm. of titles. They he, this nigga wrote that he wins the whole, his the championship, and the the fucking thing sank from there. And what the fuck is my point? This is the point. Let me check the notes. Wait. Let me check the notes. What the fuck is his name? Is this on the notes? Let me wrap it. Let me bring it back. I got it. Let it back. Run it back. Run it back. You go run it back. Let me. So the fact that WCW was beating WWE. Let me check the notes. Wait. Let me check the notes. Wait. The fact that WCW was beating WWF for a while, then the prestige of their title dropped, and their stories start to be ass, and everything just went south from there. And <laughs> the, trying to tie this into Kanye right now. Right, so I'm waiting for the time. Yeah. Was I talking about Trump or Kanye? Or Trump, anyway. Trump, Trump, Trump. So right, so we're talking about how the celebrities, the celebrities doing the whole political thing. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at right now. We're at the celebrity holding the most prestigious position in our country. Right for WW, WCW was the heavyweight champion. They had a dumbass celebrity hold their title, and then we got. A dumbass celebrity holding this this 
highest seed in our position in our country. So shit gonna go south if we don't get back to. But that's not to say that. <laughs> Look, at all. He remember he remembers what I'm talking about. So first it was one of the writers for the company got it, then David Arquette got it. Got um, what? The WW, WCW what title. <laughs> what I'm saying is once you get away from the shit that, that gets you right. Yeah, so, so we, the, the label of being a president shit. is not even is highly honored because this dumbass shit on the presidency, is that what you're trying to say? Right. Like he, that, it lost his value. The same way that it drove it it spiked WCW. Right, the the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? So you, our country, our country, okay. no, look, our country, our country. Our wait, 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 wait. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> look at the people. Look at the people that that people have been saying should be the next president. Motherfuckers saying Kanye, niggas saying The Rock. It's like, why the fuck are we talking about these celebrities as as political figures when? What has the what has any of these motherfuckers really done for? It's for, just the influence now, right? It's the popularity. So these motherfuckers thought, oh, this is a popular guy. He'll he'll be able to to keep us on top. You know what I'm saying? So these celebrities are not the fucking the the, the WWF. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the to. fact the fact that that you think that that uh, influence and influence and popularity is what's going to make a great president. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, Trump. Just forget the fucking wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> the analogy. Fuck the wrestling analogy. Just bring it back to, yeah. You're, you're, understand what you're saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is like, that. that's an example of how you, you let some, 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 Basically, outsider the and ideology of presidency has now transitioned to celebrityism. Rather than, exactly. yeah, 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 I guess that's what I'm saying, yeah. rather than <laughs> what can you do for the country? What, how, will, how will you lead the people? How because the same in wrestling, the the heavyweight champion is supposed to lead the lead the 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 locker room and lead the company to prosperity. They're supposed to be the, one of the bigger stars, X, Y, and Z. The presidency is supposed to be one of the highest seated positions in the world, mm-hmm. right? And they they supposed to lead, lead the country into everything that we fucking do. You know what I'm saying? Later. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen minutes later. <laughs> is... <laughs> the, the fact that the fact that celebrities are the fucking answer. Stop it. <laughs> Listen. Okay, so if you if you're familiar with power, right? These Democratic and Republic like parties can mold anybody to be a oh, yeah. politician because they're controlling you get the, the backing of your of your so, party. So Trump don't need to know terms. Trump don't need to know anything about politics because he has an advisor for this, an advisor for that, and an advisor for that, and they type oh, everything. Guys from the Epstein That was one of his advisors. What else? Treasurer. They're all fucking sick. Yeah, let's yeah, continue. We, we decided no, not they're advi- I didn't say good advisors. They're advisors for shit he has no idea about. So if there are it's, people that can tell him how to do his job, exactly. Rather he no. listens or not. But my, one of my weird things about him four years ago was I don't think he should be president. He will make a decent advisor because he's proven to be. I don't want to say good businessman because more things come out about him that that shit he does I mean, fucked up. Bankruptcies, he does. You know what I'm saying, but. In terms of doing things financially, like people really, people really, uh, what that bitch. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, so, uh, pop smoke. No. <laughs> <laughs> the things that he does financially were he, he's proven the, the ability to grow businesses. Yeah. Right. And then a lot of people voted for him just off the strength of he going to run the country like a business, and that's good enough for me. Yeah, he's treated America like a business. Yeah. And, the and considering we was money. coming out of a recession and all kind of shit. That, that's like, why motherfuckers that's, be like, he made the country money. What the fuck that got to do with you? <laughs> You're still broke. Nigga, I'm broke. You broke. 
My shit went from two hundred dollars to one ninety four, and they going to leave, bitch you know, ass nigga. Hey, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know who benefited? Ti. Yeah, the rich. Ti, this nigga. This <laughs> David Arquette got all the benefits of, of those fucking nah, that's tax not breaks and shit. Fifty claim he broke too. <laughs> they filed that's bankruptcy. 50, he broke. Yeah, they filed bankruptcy. Okay. <laughs> Left and right. No, I'm really getting us a WCW championship. Fuck y'all, niggas. This nigga <laughs> went out a oh, whole. Still waiting on the tie-in. I don't. Don't wait. Don't. Robert had the tie-in. What fuck you talking about? <laughs> but, <laughs> right. <laughs> Celebrityism is not the answer. Why not? I don't know if that's the word. <laughs> Why are we trusting these? That's not the answer either, though. Students. We already said that we gotta we gotta blow this. I ain't gonna say blow this bitch up. We gotta start this bitch over. Start with them. The country, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> the system. Hey, y'all seen Hamilton? No, I have not. I've been seeing people post about it. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It's three hours. I wasn't ready for that commitment. What is it? On? I liked it. Amazon. Uh, Disney Plus. This, I don't have Disney, Disney Plus, Plus. I think. No Disney Plus. For me. Um, I think it's it's a good piece to watch, especially considering the climate that we're in. Um. Give us a backstory of it again. I forgot. What's, what's Hamilton about? Um, damn, I'm about to say. I'm about to say Anthony Hamilton. Anthony. Hamilton. Uh, the, <laughs> um, what the fuck is his first name? Um, Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Okay. I had to fucking sing the song. Remember the man name? Alexander Hamilton. He was a. He's one of the founding fathers. He basically did a lot of. Uh, yes. He he drafted the. Uh, um. The, independ- the Declaration of Declaration Independence. Declaration of Independence. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the way that they, the way that, that, you know how when it's about you, they kind of glorify everything you do. So it's a little bit of, of glorification of all his work. But I just think. Fuck Alexander Hamilton, man. Was he a slave owner? They said that he was, they said he was um, against slavery, but never, never like actually went against never. George Washington for owning his slaves. Though. Tell him about I was against slaves. Basically, he didn't have he didn't have slaves. They said, and he spoke out against slavery. But he was super close to George Washington, but never told George, George Washington not to have slaves. Yeah. He, so it's like if you doing some shit, I really don't fuck with. I don't do it, and I never tell crime. you not to. Yeah. They still gonna be like, nigga, you kind of fucked up. Even though, even though I speak out against what you do, like our Kelly security guards and all that shit. Right. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, but it's it's a good piece to watch in terms of. Uh, with the, the climate of the country right now. R. Kelly's security is crazy. I had, a, I had a, a thought right now. Uh, well, R. Kelly's security is So when you saw my security guard and you witnessing all this obscene, crazy shit, what you doing? If what? He said, if you're R. Kelly's security. You're R. Kelly's security guard. And you see it? And you see it. the fuck out of it, man. Yeah. I don't think that's a safe question to answer. The Richter scale is going on. Right? Yeah, this is the South. Yeah, the sick podcast. <laughs> I don't think that's a safe question to answer because. It's like that's crazy. Yeah. Right? But you niggas at the niggas that stand for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean that. The, yeah. Did you stay there for job security or what? Like you know what I'm saying? Like what did you stay there? For? Like hey, I'll pay no. you an extra. You know how many jobs I turned down because I just don't fuck with. One thing about the place, like, and, and now you got a must molesting ass nigga. <laughs> I'm walking out because niggas is trying to have me clean shit. This nigga's about to stay there for this guy. I'm telling. <laughs> yeah, that shit. That, I think that's the only safe answer. I'm telling. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't. That ain't snitching. That ain't snitching. That's not snitching. <laughs> that you shouldn't be doing. I, it, boy, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm telling. So, um, in other news, I I'm guess telling. on the other good side of news, they yeah. caught the guy that uh, killed that seven year old girl. Was it a? Uh, so somebody told it. I don't know. They have him in custody, oh, yeah. and then the the most recent oh, one he? as well. They shot like a one year old. They caught him as well too. I know. Recently, I heard something about them saying. Um, um, if you, if it was you, just turn yourself in. You know what you did. Um, is that part of the code? 
Turn like, yourself in. Turn yourself in. I I I think. Do you pressure? Do you pressure your homie into turning himself in? Yeah. If you know, like I was with you, I was with you when we went and ran on the niggas. Like, you you know, end up hitting a, a little girl. The streets is different though. It depends because a lot of the time, some niggas don't don't honor that shit. They'll smoke dude that, that killed that kid, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, or they'll they'll really. He, he'll, he'll have no choice. He'll probably turn himself in and he's going to be like, hey, I'm threatened for my life. Put me in protective custody because they know what's going to happen to him right. as soon as he touched down. But, I mean, yeah, it's... If, if, if it's someone that... If there's people... And then in certain cases, like some people are like, hey, we ain't going to touch you, but you got to turn yourself in. You know? Street justice. Street justice. Yeah, yeah, street justice. Because it, uh, a real nigga would be like, damn, I, honestly, you know, a stupid nigga, not a real nigga, but it's a stupid nigga that'd be like, man, I didn't mean to do it. Here, I'm going to turn myself in. That's the honestly the real thing you're supposed to do. There's a lot of stupid motherfuckers be like, man. Fuck, because they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Well, man, whatever. But then it's the niggas that around them is either are you going to allow it or not. That's what I'm saying. So, like, is that that's the part that I'm not saying is that part of the code where... Like, nigga, we know that was you. Yeah, no. Go yeah. turn yourself in, nigga. <laughs> they ain't gonna right. snitch. They ain't right. gonna snitch. But so, they gonna, they gonna handle That's what I said. They either gonna handle it, handle it how they want to handle it. There's so many different it's ways. Gonna get back. It's gonna get back. Yeah, mm-hmm. niggas know exactly. Because most of the time, these niggas is in the car with four other niggas. And, oh, shit, nigga, you killed that little girl. Right. And now like, that damn, becomes the conversation nonstop that? Mm-hmm. that you're seeing every single day. And now he's probably going to tell his his other brother or something yeah. and his homie. They trying to get out of there. They trying to get out that jam. Right. They know they, they, too, they don't want to be labeled as that shooter. Yeah, nobody wants that. No, nobody no. wants that. So and so forth. They don't want that. Because they, in jail, they really, when it comes to these kids, bro, they really fucking, they really do it to your ass. Right. Like, they really would do it to your ass. Literally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I'll be co-signing this nigga's phrases without listening all the way. Like, <laughs> For real. Max, I'm about to pause video. So we talking about the code, too. You saw, you posted the video. What? Of when uh was that New York or like a New York street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Buddy so you seen that? On- Buddy was walking with his daughter. They pull up, stop. They pull out the gun and literally aimed, shot well, one time. Walk. And oh, gr- the little girl, girl will kill me the most. The little girl's running like she took off. Yeah, like the dude dropped. She let his hand go and she was so scared she didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all motherfuckers is cowards, bro. That shit is some straight. You know how many stories motherfuckers tell me about I, we, getting called lacking with a shorty and, and, and a niggas tell them like, you lucky you're lucky you're shorty with you. Uh-huh. Look, you know what it is. You lucky you're shorty with you. There's, you a, vi- this one. There's a famous video on YouTube that this there like is. went th- this went viral. Dude's walking with his daughter. He like, oh, you op- like, you op- ass nigga. You lucky your daughter with you, blah, blah, blah. And he posted this and it went fucking. And they, they had big guns know, in the car. You remember a dude walking? He like she had like a pink jacket or something. I think not. He was pushing her in the store. Some, something like that. Like yeah, I think was that pink. Because even in the store, they were walking. He had, she, had a she had a pink jacket. She had a pink jacket. It might probably a different bunch of different a videos. Couple different situations. But you know how niggas always be like, "Oh, I got you lacking," mm-hmm. and just and he wanted to record it just to be like, "Oh, right." You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna clown you even more. The one I saw was uh, the nigga was in the back seat. He was yelling out, and then was just like. uh um, dudes with his shorty or with his kid and told him basically like I'm gonna kill you later yeah <laughs> at the end of the video but you with your shorty right now you get this pass and, and you know it's it's hard now I mean it's, it's different because obviously you see a little ass girl right a lot of these niggas don't give a fuck because you see an 11 year old shooting you know what I'm saying a 12 year old shooting I didn't when you think about it how many times we got chased as kids right like by grown ass men pulling out guns on you and doing all this crazy shit while you 10 11 12 they don't give a fuck you know but if you with your kid I've always my dad's always said it I've always heard older people say it if there's a kid there like you not supposed and, and niggas that would do that will get fucked up you know what I'm saying like you really right. get your ass fucked up like nigga oh. that nigga got his kid there there's no honor in that. Like the, a kid, yeah, exactly. The kid cannot defend himself. I don't even want to get into like 
more even in detail about the little girl and her feelings and stuff because uh, to think about that is just just fucked up. Like, of course, of course, like he lived he lives that lifestyle, and the little girl gonna have to deal with the loss of her dad, whether he was by himself or not. But this is just a different level when you walking down the street and getting ice cream with pops. And shit. Exactly. That's what I'm no, and that, that's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, like he, he, and, and that's, 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 that's there's the no, there's, there's no, there's no honor or right. code okay, or I anything. You mean because I said I assume he, he he living that life, right? There is no street right. code at this point. Like there's a video, and this dude, remember we talked about it, that house party where the dude got shot in in the house party, right? And dude was on live, so that dude is like a, a, a well known gang member in Chicago, yeah. whatever. He went on live and he has like his daughter or his niece or somebody. Mm-hmm. And he like, yeah, baby girl, he's on live. He's like, they call me the boogeyman. At nighttime, if you do something to me, I come in all black and I'll wait for you to come outside and I'll come get you. He's telling the little, he's telling, I can show you the video. I'll yeah. pull it up for you. He's telling, I, yeah, anyway. yeah. But um, he's telling, he's like, I'm the boogeyman. Like, I'll come way to your gangway and come get you. That's exactly what he said. And what they labeled it as was this dude uh, tricks about a murder that he committed talking uh-huh. to his niece. Because he's dead now. The dude's dead now. Right. He Obviously, he got killed in the house party. But you don't know what these, you know what I'm saying? Right. These niggas is doing. And then at this point where you're telling your kid that you mm-hmm. obviously don't give a fuck. Right. So he might be one of the to catch a nigga with their kid. And no, I don't know. Yeah, who job. knows? Who knows? You never know. Who knows? Nah, they, these, motherfuckers, these motherfuckers be so high, bro. <laughs> these pills yeah. and the Hennessy and the motherfucking <laughs> Annie, everything, bro. They be too lit. Yeah. You know, like, they be doing whatever the fuck they want. Zans. Motherfuckers don't even know they shooting people. You pop a Zan, niggas don't even know. They end up in jail. Right. Wake up in jail. Like, damn. What the fuck? The niggas telling you what you did. That wasn't me. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little dirty. <laughs> um, what did we say? Like episode two? Uh, supposedly. Uh, allegedly. 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 Yeah. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Remember? Allegedly. Allegedly. But, uh, yeah. That's funny. You want to shout out somebody? Shit just went real dark. You want to introduce the... Uh, also, what we want to do is um, every episode, we will shout out. We'll go around the room, uh, maybe just one or two businesses. We shout them out and just point out some some dope shit. <laughs> some dope shit dope that businesses are doing. Um, <laughs> I want to... Uh, we ain't even playing this. It's funny, but I was going to do it anyway. I'm gonna link this business, OTTR. Shout out to the Trill Records. Out. There you go. Shout out to me, the Trill Records. Did I get all the letters right? Um, new record label. Uh, we will have the website linked in the description to all of the businesses that we are supporting. Straight out Chicago. Straight out of Chicago. Hey, you chose the business I was going to shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, maybe that, yeah, you go. That'd be the business I that we do. Shout out uh, Fifth Third Chase, Forex. Uh, Niggas in the streets with ten thousand and one dollars in their motherfucking pockets Blue right chip. now. <laughs> Shout out all the banks, they busting. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, Raw Bunch clothing line. Raw Bunch clothing line. We'll down. Oh, nice. Shout out to that Chicago Bears business. Who? Great. Who? Shout out. This nigga said shout out to the Chicago Bears. The Bears? Shout out to Paris. Shout out to Chicago Bears. This nigga. Oh. What? <laughs> shout out all the banks. All the banks. <laughs> Carlton Banks. Chase Banks. <laughs> they busting right now, boy. <laughs> Ten thousand and two dollars. Ten thousand two. This nigga said nine hundred ninety-three. Nine hundred ninety-three. 
We ain't going into those. We, ain't, we don't want no problems with y'all. Nah. Allegedly. 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 Everybody got Allegedly scams. That shit funny as hell. But yeah, we if you want to get shouted out, um, most cases it'll be organic businesses that we actually fuck with. I really fuck with the uh, OTTR and what they're building over there. And uh, the brand, the brand, the merch is dope. Um, I've heard some shit from the artists out there, so I'm <laughs> fucking with it. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was going to say right now. What the fuck was I going to say? I forgot. Mm. I think we uh, covered the, we covered one of the segments early. Which one? That was great. The pop smoke? That was great. Great what? transition right there. Right now, what I said? I forgot what I was going to say. Looked, I just looked at your thing, right. and I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, uh, the Kanye West for president went, went kind of short. Well, where we at? Uh, we wanted good. to keep that shit short, didn't he? Yeah. Wear your mask. Go vote. Oh. Facts. Facts. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay, so. Um. Um, if you have a brand, if you have merch, if you have any of that, hit us in the DM. Yes. Me personally, I know Perk, you said you can yeah. do it as well. We are, or we will be accepting if people want to send us shirts, hats, we will be wearing them on the pod. Uh, it's easy the way you get your brands on, on, on YouTube, on all of our platforms. So, um, yeah, just send us, hit send us in the DM. We'll get some more information out for you guys. Oh, Talk to me, everyone behind you, Reef. What's up? Oh, yeah, throw that shirt, throw the shirt, throw the shirt, throw the shirt. Yeah. You got it? Camera's dead. Oh, shit. This is my <laughs> Oh, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, we are, we also are a black owned business as well. Go we'll support our t shirts. We got the OG t shirts. Uh, link in the bio. Uh, we will be making a post probably yep. tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so go. by the time you hear and see this, it'll be up already. Go so support. just go ahead and like it. Yep. Share, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, keep fucking with us, y'all. On that note, we out.